Till Death collection from Jolie Beauty. We're gonna be doing a bridal goth makeup tutorial today, and I'm just thrilled with how this look came out. This collection is beautiful, not just for a bride, but really it's an everyday showstopper. I have the full collection, so let me show you guys how I did it. And of course we're doing this because it is really hard to find alt and goth stylists to actually do your makeup on your wedding day. It's very rare to find. So I'm gonna teach you instead. Hi, I'm Crystal. If you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. This channel is full of everything, including makeup, fashion, gothy stuff, and paranormal. So if you're interested, stick around. Happy World Goth Day, although this won't be uploaded for another day tomorrow. So it's gonna be technically the day after World Goth Day 2024. Today I am going to be doing a bridal look on Jolie Till Death collection. And I don't know if I've been more excited for a collection in forever. As you guys know, I own all of the Jolie palettes. She has sent me a few in PR. This is PR. Um, not a paid post, but this is PR. And I purchased a few by myself. She sent me three of the lipsticks. We have a very gray called Grave Digger, a very purplish gray called Till Death, and the last one that's my favorite is Mi Amor, which is this like taupey gray color. I can't wait to try all of those. She also sent me her beautiful liquid eyeshadows, and I am just absolutely obsessed with these. I cannot wait to show you these. My favorite has to be Entangled, which is this black liquid shadow with lots of glitter in it. It's just so gorgeous. And of course we have the Showstopper, which is the palette. To me, this is giving motionless and white, eternally yours vibes mixed with um, another life. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. I love Jolie. She's the CEO owner of um, Jolie Cosmetics, Jolie Beauty. She just, you know, here's the thing with eyeshadow palettes. It takes a special person to really give you a good color story with an eyeshadow palette. There's so many companies out there that will just grab whatever colors they want and they just throw them in a palette. But it takes a really special person to make it look like this. I mean, it's very much goth alternative wedding vibes. It's very cool toned. It's beautiful. So today I want to go for, you know, we're doing some goth makeup looks. I want to go for something more on the earth tone side, grungy side. Still sticking with some dark on the outer corner, but more of like, taupes and browns and golds, shimmers, that sort of vibe. So we're gonna really stick with, you know, this opposite side of the palette, which is such beautiful shades. Also, whoever her manufacturer is, is amazing because she has some of the best shimmers on the market. I'm gonna show a couple. They're just buttery and full coverage and beautiful. So this is Gravestone Dedication and bouquet just beautiful, beautiful beautiful this retinol rock eye cream and this has hyaluronic acid it's soothing and i find this really helps with my dark circles normally i would just put this on at night and sleep with it but i've really been combating i kind of neglected my dark circles for like a couple of weeks it's definitely getting better but this is like a peptide formula with hyaluronic acid retinol so good so get this it's like $14 on Amazon full coverage but not necessarily matte so for this today I'm going to prep my skin with this Dr. Pepetti peptide volume master essence I got this from it's a K beauty company it's Korean skincare which I think is perfect for glass skin now am I going total glass skin look no 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 because I have extremely oily skin so if I don't set some of my face, I will be in trouble. My skin doesn't look too bad today as far as redness, but you can always use some sort of a full coverage concealer like NARS is my favorite. It's right here. And you can use this to sort of spot conceal before you add your foundation on top. I don't really think I need it today. I think I'm doing okay. 
I am gonna use the NARS, I believe this is the Radiance, the Radiance Foundation? It's the Serum Foundation. What is this called? Light Reflecting Foundation, Shake Well. And I have one of the lightest shades. I think it's like Mont Blanc, Blanc or whatever it is. So I'm gonna shake and I'm actually gonna put a couple pumps on the back of my hand. Now with NARS Foundation, you really should not apply it with a sponge, especially when it's a serum. You need to go ahead and really work it in the skin with your fingers. So, I mean, even though this is a serum foundation, like, that's very full coverage, but it's going to give us way more of a glow than, and it's very lightweight. So, I think this is a perfect option for foundation for your wedding day because it doesn't feel heavy. So, let's go ahead and put this all in the skin. Another really great glowy starter base is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm obsessed with this stuff. So if you don't have access to anything else, you can get a, a small bottle for like 30 bucks at Ulta. That stuff is good. Today's gonna be a little bit more of a bougie makeup day. For contour, I'm not gonna keep it totally cool toned, but I am gonna go in with this LYS stick from, you can get it on TikTok shop. I got No, no Limits Hope. I don't know if that's the, it's not totally cool toned, but I really love these contour wands. They just blend really beautifully with any kind of makeup. And for your wedding day, I would even snatch all the way down here just to really give you that look for your photos that you're wanting to do. Remember, this is me trying to teach you guys how to do your makeup at home since there are not many alternative goth makeup artists out there for weddings. So just going over it with a damp beauty blender. Now you can definitely tell this is a little bit warm on my skin, but we'll tone it down a little bit with concealer and the powder will probably take it down just a bit. ABH Concealer Lightest Formula, lightest shade I mean. I'm just going to go here and we're going to really make her full coverage today. I'm going to blend this up just a little into that contour so it doesn't look quite as warm. And I'm even going to blend it in here so I have a little bit more of a specified contour for the cheekbones. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a Fenty powder for setting. I'm not gonna actually set my whole face this time and I'm not even gonna do a full bake because I do want it more glowy, but I am going to press where I have trouble zones with my oily skin. And I am gonna take some on the jawline just to define that more. And definitely my T-zone around my mouth. I'm actually going to skip my nose because I do want to add a little bit of a nose contour here. For the nose contour, I'm going to hop right into the Victoria Beckham nose contour pen. It's amazing. This is, I don't know what shade this is, but it's the lightest one. And I like to button nose, so I make a circle on the end of my nose. And then I go from narrow to the brow bone. And then I'm gonna draw some lines on the side for blending. So that's what it looks like before I blended it. And now I'm gonna go through and blend this out with my fingers. It's such a beautiful product. That, I'm obsessed with that product. Absolutely obsessed. Now I do feel like I need a little bit of brightening down the nose and you can do that really even using concealer I'm going to grab my she glam pen and use this highlight side I wish I would have gotten the white one I might have to order that and I'm just going to dot it and dab it down the middle it's just going to be a more dramatic nose contour adding that highlight in the middle and now I'm going to go through with the powder puff I'm not going to pick up any extra powder just whatever is left on here and I'm gonna carefully just set my nose with it. I'm gonna go through with this lace palette that's a blush palette from Makeup Revolution. You can get this at Ulta for like 20 bucks. And I'm just gonna pick up these two lightest shades. I like to blend them together. And I am gonna add this to the cheekbone and wrap it around my brow just a little bit. It's gonna end up being hidden because I'm definitely gonna add some really loud highlight because I feel like that is what I would do on my wedding day. You can always tone any of this down or turn it up 
depending on your preference. Okay, next I'm gonna take my highlight palette from Kimchi. I've killed this. I love this palette. It's the Drama Queen palette. And this shade is like a very pale white shade. Sometimes I mix these two together. I'm gonna use this down the nose. Now this is more of just icy, where the one I used last time, the P. Louise one's blue base. This is like pure white. Pure white. So I'm just gonna highlight these areas that I want to stand out. Grab a highlighting brush and just go. See how that tones down the pink immediately? Now you can add an even heavier highlighter, like Kimchi has some of the best glittery highlights I've ever seen. So if you're wanting something even more dramatic than this, go with the Kimchi highlights. They're my favorite highlighters. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Milani setting spray, just in between. I do this sometimes to ensure nothing moves. Brings life back into the face a little bit. And then we need to let this dry. I feel like I need just a little bit more contour, but I don't wanna go crazy. So I'm gonna take this Hourglass palette that I got I'm obsessed with this palette. It is on the warmer side, okay? So once again, it may not be for you, but I'm just giving options here, right? Depends on... I have a lot of goth girls that have messaged me saying like, oh, I'm having, you know, a garden goth themed party and you want to feel a little bit glowy under the stars or whatever. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder and go on the jawline. Hourglass has some beautiful products, I'm not going to lie and lightly, lightly around the edge. I don't want too much. I don't want it to be shocking. I don't want to look orange. It's just to give a tiny bit of glow. And these highlights in here too are like to die for. I'm gonna take this one and just add a little bit on top. You can never use enough highlight in my opinion. very very glowy okay I'm gonna go ahead and do brows I'm gonna use taupe brows today I'm gonna use the medium brown from palmade from Milani and if you're wanting black brows go with the Ardell soft black it is not soft I've told you guys that before but it is sweat proof and waterproof the best I can find on the market it's about nine dollars on Amazon so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my brows on and I'll be right back. Okay, there are the brows that are on. I just literally put pomade over my brows and then I will go in with the NYX pen. I know I've talked about this before. I'm gonna use, this is the shade black, so I would use this with Ardell. But since we're not doing black brows, I need to find my taupe, okay, taupe pen and now I'm gonna just create little brush strokes that makes it look like eyebrow hairs. Now honestly, I didn't do too bad today. I don't think I really need to clean these up. They look pretty good. Some days we have good days and some days we don't. Today's a good day. You can spray and set this again if you want. I think I'm okay right now. Immediately I'm gonna grab my P. Louise as a base. This is 0.5. I also have a really large portion of zero, which is very, very white. And I'm just going to dab this on my eye with my Beauty Blender for base. Please don't skip an eyeshadow base for your wedding day. I mean, you can use concealer, but these bases are constructed to make the shadow stick so that you don't fall, they don't fall out and they don't wipe off. So please don't skip this step. P. Louise is probably the best on the market. You do have to order it from the UK. Absolutely excited to dip into this guy right now. So I want to do something a little bit different than I did the other day. The other day was pretty, I think that it's very spottable goth makeup. Today I want to do something a little bit more on the taupe bride side, but it's still going to be dark. It's not for everyone. So I'm taking this shade Veil, which is like a very taupey shade. I want to just hold this palette because it's just so gorgeous. And I'm going to start applying it under the brow bone. It's going to eventually be like a transition shade gonna go from lighter to darker that's how I've always done my tutorials and my makeup and th this is really where you want to start creating that shape <clears throat> so you kind of need to decide in your mind goth makeup is traditionally louder larger large and in charge so I am gonna swing this corner out just a little bit which is pretty typical of me and I'm gonna do the other side as well. Her shadows just blend and they're beautiful quality. She just does not sparse on the quality. Also, if you're not signed up for her um, 
email list, she does run sales and she'll notify you via email. So if it's out of your budget, then sign up for the email so that you know when the sales are going on. <clears throat> I do know that this palette, when it first launched like a week ago or whatever, um, it sold out. I think she finally got some back in, but she has good stuff. I think Jolie is an up-and-coming competitor for sure for the community. Okay, Endless is a more dark brown, okay? So I'm going to take that right below the one I just placed, and don't worry about blending at first. Just worry about placement, okay? It's going to look scary. It's definitely... Tr goth makeup in general is trust the process, right? So I'm just going to add this in where I want it to be. And once it's placed, I'm going to take a fresh brush and I'm just going to marry those two shades together ever so lightly. You don't need to go heavy handed. You don't need to go ham. I'm just trying to create a really pretty natural ombre effect. Now you can sort of see the shape of that eye starting to take shape. Let's go ahead and do the other side. This honestly, this palette would be perfect for working goths as well. I mean, it's literally an everyday goth palette. If you can't wear super dark, dramatic eyes, it, it's a perfect everyday palette. Okay, I am happy with that so far. I'm going to grab another brush, something smaller. This is just stained. That's not, um, it's just a stain. I'm going to go in with this really, I have two shades. I have Obsession or In Health. And I really think... God, I like both of them. Obsession is more of like a dirt brown where this one's warmer tone. Oh, I love both. Let's go with Obsession. It's a little bit deeper, and I think I'm going to like that better. So I'm just picking up some on the brush, and now this is going to be mainly an outer corner shade. I'm really going to start building this up slowly. I don't press very hard into my eye either. Like It's very much like if you're painting. Think about art class, how you did in art class. But luckily with makeup, everything's fixable. You can just take a little bit of concealer and you can fix it. I mean, I didn't just come out of the womb doing makeup, right? You have to, it's something like a bike. You have to practice it. I really like where this is going so far. I think I'm going to stop there and go to the other side. <clears throat> I'm going to take this infinity shade, which is like a shimmer, and I'm going to pop it on the brow bone and I'm sort of going to create a swoop and then I'm going to go back in with a clean brush and just sort of get rid of any harsh lines that are right there just like that okay I'm going to go in with a shimmer next and I think I'm going to use twin flame because it's very bright and we're just going to pop this right on the lid. Jolie Beauty is also one of those where their shimmers are so good, you don't need to lay down like a glitter base first or anything like that. And I'll kind of switch back and forth between my finger and the brush. The brush can be a little bit more precise where the finger can give you a little bit more uh, weight on the product and it will press it into the skin and make it look a little bit more full coverage. I like where that's going so far. I definitely think it needs more glitter. You guys know how I am. You can always add to it or take away with what I'm doing. Under the waterline, I can't decide what to do because I am going to incorporate like a gray or a grayish lip, but I really want to incorporate these. So I will swatch them for you. I think I want to do a really dark, this coppery one, twin flame on the bottom. So I'm going to get a pencil brush. Where is a pencil brush? I'm going to grab like a pencil brush like this. And I'm going to get... I'm going to take In Health, which is more of that red-brown. I'm hoping it makes that pop a little bit more. And I'm going to take this on the waterline. And I'm going to take it all the way up to this side. Remember, we can clean this up later, so don't worry if... It's not perfect. We can, always, we can always take some concealer on a flat brush and fix it. Yeah, it's giving a more auburn red sort of look. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And now I'm going to take a fresh brush again. Okay? And I'm going to buff the underside of this because I don't want... You don't want harsh lines. Nobody does. Okay? So let's get rid of these harsh lines. 
Now, it's up to you on if you want to clean it up or not. Let's be honest and say that sometimes goth makeup is a little bit more on the messy side. So if you wanted to leave it, I don't think anyone would notice because I think it's part of the way it's supposed to look. But for now, I'm going to take just a teeny bit of concealer and just, just a little bit. Clean it up just a little bit. Now, we do have a concealer line under there. So I'm just going to take another like flat, fresh brush and go under to buff it out so that there's no harsh lines with that one either. I also forgot an inner corner highlight, and I think that's important, especially for this look. It's giving like fairy garden ethereal. So let's do <clears throat> some sort of a flatter brush. I'm going to pick up Infinity, which is the same one we used for the brow bone highlight, and I'm going to pack this on the... Oh, wow, that's gorgeous giving light feminine energy. Now that's a little bit heavy, so just take another brush and buff it out a little bit. Get rid of some of the excess. There you go. Look, and you, once again, goth makeup. This is not traditional, this is not your traditional wedding, right? Don't leave me comments saying that's too dark for a wedding. Well, you don't get it, <laughs> so you probably shouldn't be here. Um, I'm also going to do heavy um, eyeliner on the waterline, so I'm going to go in with a black gel pencil. My favorite is Essence Stay and Play Gel Eyeliner. It's only like $3.99 at Ulta. All of my favorite eyeliners are Essence. I swear by that line. Like, watch how this goes on. It just glides right on. I don't have to do anything. Now there is a little spot in between, like your lashes. Make sure you get that, because you don't. that looks funny if you don't get that part. If you get a little bit on the bottom, that's fine. Just, we'll take a brush at the end and buff it out a little bit. Maybe you want to even add a little bit. I even added a little bit to mine. Okay, now, take a tiny brush like this. And now we're just going to lightly buff that line out and it'll be gone. Blends right into your eyeshadow just like that. Okay, let's first swatch these liquid shadows because I want to show you what they look like first. The one we're going to use on the bottom um, lash line is Twin Flame, which is like a copper... Oh, stop it. Look at that. And it's got like a gold flux in it. It's beautiful. This one is really unique. It's green, it's called Romantic. It would make a really beautiful like pink and green look, like garden fairy look. Isn't that gorgeous? The other one that I'm probably going to use is Love Story and it's a definite like taupe beige with glitter. I mean, it's beautiful too, look at that. So I'm going to use Twin Flame and Love Story, but my favorite one for my everyday goths is Entangled. This I'm obsessed with this shade. It is black with glitter flex, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's start with Twin Flame, which is the copper one. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take a pencil brush, and I'm going to add some to it. Not tons. You don't want to over, overload the brush. And now we're going to apply this under the eye. And you can take this as far as you want to take it. I'm dramatic, so I'm going to go like this. Yes, I just did that. Ugh, stop. Stop it. Okay, <clears throat> I need to buff a little bit out with another brush. I kind of overdid it on this side. But you need to immediately dry this. <clears throat> Invest in a hand fan. Dry it, and then we'll go to the next section. All right, Love Story is up next. Oh, God. it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Love Story is up next. Get a nail brush, invest in some nail art pens, nail art brushes, sorry, Amazon. And we're going to take some on the end. See how much I have right there? And now we're going to draw like a little painting. I'm going to keep it in this space of where the dark is. And that's because this is lighter than the dark shadow, and so I want it to show up. See where I'm drawing that? That's where we're going. 
let's finish the other side. Now you could even get more dramatic and you can like paint on lashes on the bottom with this. I'm not gonna do that today because I did that yesterday. I do however think I am gonna add gemstones today because we didn't do that yesterday. So Amazon is where my go-to to buy crystals. For this look, you'd wanna do something probably more on the clear side. So you're gonna need rhinestones, you're gonna need eyelash glue, and you're gonna need one of these. It's like a wax tip to pick up rhinestones for nail technicians. If you try to put rhinestones on with actual tweezers, you're gonna be there for four days, honestly. So what I'll do is I'll do about three at a time, three rhinestones at a time, and I start with my highest point, and I like to do it off to the side just a little bit. And I'm gonna start with a big one there first. And I pick one up with my tool, and then I press it right in. And then I pick one up with my tool, and I press it right in. Now I'm gonna go to a smaller size, <clears throat> and I'm gonna do three at a time on each side. And you just kinda, you, you eyeball it, three spaces, pick up one rhinestone at a time. All right, now for the outer eye, I think I will pick up the bigger gems, and I'm gonna do three more. One, two, three. Okay, now, it's up to you on where you start and where you stop, right? What do you wanna do? I do like a little bit more drama in my life, so I'm gonna add a single dot of glue right under my pupil on the bottom, so it's directly in the middle. And I feel like this gives people the perfect center of where to look at you when they're in a conversation with you. So that's why I do that. Okay, now, <clears throat> how do we finish this? It's up to you. I'm gonna finish mine with eyeliner. Now, I know what you're saying, why would you add eyeliner to such a snazzy eye? Because I'm going to add lashes. And if you add eyeliner to your top line, it's going to help conceal the eyelash band, okay? Favorite eyeliner of all time is Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. It's a matte, it's got a very tiny, precise tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little wing here. All right, next step, I'm gonna go ahead and spray a final spritz of setting spray on. Let that air dry. I also went ahead and added some mascara lash this is lash volume by essence and i didn't even curl my lashes because i'm just going to pop on lashes the lashes i'm going to use are magify lashes you can get these on my tiktok shop or on amazon but they're pretty dramatic so i'm going to go ahead and pop these on okay i decided to go with a little bit more victorian shirt victorian bridal look okay we have three lippies i'm going to start with Let's start with the very gray toned one first. I'm actually gonna swatch these first. Always, always shake your lippies before you put them on. The first one we'll swatch is Grave Digger. It is definitely a stone gray. It's very beautiful. The next one we will swatch is Till Death. This one has almost a lavender purple undertone. It's very unique, I really like that shade. And the last one is my favorite, Mia Moore. This is a taupe grayish sort of shade. Okay, let's start with NYX Lip Suede Lip Liner in Arc oh, Stone Fox. I'm sorry, I'm gonna line my lips with this. Okay, let's start with the first shade, Grave Digger. So that is Grave Digger. Going back in with the same lip liner, which is NYX Stone Fox. Now the next shade we're gonna do is Till Death, which is that purpley, really unique, weird shade. Make sure you shake it before you use it. All liquid lips. Oh, it's a weird color, isn't it?
There's a very like gray purple rose that exists and this reminds me of that rose. It's one of my favorite flowers. So gorgeous. Okay, and the final one, which is my favorite, we're gonna use Endless Cacao, which is like a very grayish lip liner from Makeup Forever. All right, now my favorite one of all. This is Mi Amor. It almost has this like burgundy mauve taupey undertone to it. I think for this look, this lip is perfect. So tell me what you think of this look. Which lip is your favorite? Which liquid eyeshadow is your favorite? I love all of them. It's so gorgeous. I hope this helps you with your wedding day. If you have any other ideas that you want me to do, this is going to be a new series that I'm going to do for you guys, teaching you goth wedding makeup since we have such a hard time finding alt and goth stylists for our wedding day. We'll just keep the series going. Please make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment below, lots of love. Also make sure that you're following me on TikTok, YouTube, all of the places, Instagram. I have subscriptions on Instagram if you want to support me there. And I'm also getting ready to ramp up my Patreon page. So as always... Have a hauntingly beautiful evening, Michaels.